Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Cable Tech Expo 2023 in beautiful Denver, Colorado. My name is Chris Baskin, CTO at SCTE. Uh, this afternoon, I am joined by Steve Condra. He is the Senior Engineering Director and Product Manager at Teleste Intercept. And we're going to talk uh, smart apps this afternoon. So Steve, there's been a lot of talk out on the floor about uh, smart amps also in, in many of the sessions I've been in. Can you tell us a little bit, give us the highlights of what smart amps do? do. Yeah, I mean, we actually break the smart amps into three categories. There's the basic smart amp, which does the automatic setup and automatic level control, and a lot of the automation that occurs for installation. And then where there's another category of the connected smart amp, in which there's a transponder in which you can actually read information coming from the amplifier or make changes to the level or uh, slope of the amplifier remotely. And then there's what we call an intelligent amp, and that's a smart amp that's connected but also has some measurement capability built into it for detecting ingress or, or uh, CPD or other impairments that might impact the, impact the network. Can, can you give us a couple of use cases of how smart amps would, would, would benefit the, the, the network? Yeah, I mean, the, the immediate reaction is the ability to uh, take an amplifier into the field, uh, con uh, connect it up, and uh, load a, a configuration file that's preloaded uh, per the customer requirements. And so, and, and then from a technician perspective, it's literally a single button push to set the amplifier up and to get both the downstream and the upstream levels where they want them to be. So there's no longer the plug-in pads and EQs and making sure that you had the right plug-in pad or the right, right plug-in EQ. And there's no longer this iterative process of putting in a pad value, checking the outputs, changing the pad level, and checking the outputs again. We got rid of all of that, we, we automated that, and made the installation process. So the training curve for installers now is extremely short. Um, you don't have to have the measurement capability, you don't have to have the iterative process on how to get the right levels. It's literally a single button push. But furthermore, after installation, the thing that's really exciting is the ability to detect ingress uh, or detect CPD, and then uh, once you've detected it, you can go to each port on each amplifier and put in a, a slight attenuation and then, and then determine exactly where the ingress is coming from. Not just what amplifier, but what port on each amplifier. And then pinpoint accuracy, send a technician for an efficiency perspective so that their time is not wasted searching for you know, a needle in a haystack. Uh, that's, those are the two uh, there are many, many other benefits, but those are the two that are that immediately strike you in this industry is on how how well we've done with automated setup and how well we've done with automatic detection and mitigation of ingress. So I understand there's a communications model associated with the smart amps so that you'll actually be able to talk to it live, and yeah. so, so there'll be a lot of tele telemetry off of the amp and you'll be able to control it remotely as well. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about, about the communications to the smart amp? Yeah, so, I mean, we have a, uh, we have multiple flavors of transponders. These are optional plugins. Uh, we have DOCSIS flavors. We have an HMS standard flavor. We actually have a proprietary flavor as well. Uh, just depending on what feature functionality you want with the connectivity to the amplifier, or and you can decide you want to you want to connect to every amplifier or every other amplifier, or maybe just the last amplifier in Cascade. There are choices you can make from an investment perspective on how connected you need to be in order to, to get the quality of service you want. In addition, if you decide not to install a transponder, we've got uh, handheld smartphone apps that when you're on site, uh, you can connect to the amplifier via Bluetooth with your, with your smartphone and then connect back to the cloud or the head end via the cellular service. So really there's you know, an, an in-band solution being DOCSIS, there's a in, in coax solution that might be out of band signaling with HMS, and then there's a total of out of band using a cellular network to connect to the amplifier. And that way you can, you can store, you can take a snapshot of the amplifier performance and store it in the cloud. And when you, come, when you, if you have to come back to the amplifier at a later date, you can see what the amplifier was designed to do, what it looked like when you first installed it, and what it looks like and any changes have been made to the flight because anytime you connect to it, we automatically store the data, the snapshot data in the cloud. So it gives you a running history of that amplifier uh, automatically. 
<clears throat> so there's so much discussion about AI ML and applying algorithms. Yeah. Is, is that at, at play with, with the uh, management of smart amps as well? Yeah, it's really cool because um, you put in you can put in detection uh, algorithms on what you might be looking for with planned impairments, and uh, you can use past history of what this what this signature of the impairment, where that problem was fixed in the past. So you, you'll get a signature and you'll determine from past history that hey, that looks like ingress from the home, or no, that looks like CPD in the network. Uh, in addition to that. As those uh, signatures change, you can automatically update through AI what, what, where to direct the, the technician on, on how to find and de detect, find, and mitigate the, the ingress or CPD issues. So, so you have a product sample here today. Is there anything you'd like to point out on uh, what, how, how it connects? and what, what? Yeah, so I mean, we have a line of 1.8 gig amplifiers, and they all come with the optional transponder. Um, uh, that you can elect to populate or not populate. Uh, what I really, the process that has really worked for us, for our customer base, is you start with no transponders and, you, and then you work with your operations team and you go out and do a trial with transponders and they get to learn the capability of transponder but they also then teach us what they do from an operations perspective. And if we can make the automation more like what the operations, uh, standard operating procedure are, it's going to be adopted much more widely, much quicker. As opposed to, from an engineering perspective, we find automation that we think is cool, and we throw it over the wall and expect operations to, to adopt it, and they go, yeah, you know, we're, we're afraid of it, or it's going to make changes that we're, not, that we're not aware of. It's much better if you can you know, work with your operations team and do a field trial, and then we can uh, customize the software that goes through the transponder in a way that fits their, their operating procedures. So, so you have a product sample here today and you talk about adoption, so, so how do you foresee, like wh wh where, when do you feel there'll be you know, wide scale you know, scalability of, of, of the product in, in the networks? Yeah, I mean we are doing trials today, both from a 1.8 gigahertz amplifier perspective and with the connectivity to those amplifiers. Uh, we're expecting to start ramping up uh, at the end of this calendar year with uh, major deployments uh, starting early next year. Anything else you'd like to summarize about smart apps? Uh, no, I mean, we're very excited about the, the technology. You don't get an opportunity to upgrade amplifiers very often. It's once or twice in a lifetime. And uh, if you're going to do it, uh, you know, put in, at least put in all the hooks for the technology you see coming down the road. Uh, and then you can decide a kind of a pay as you grow mentality on, on uh, spending money only where you know, you know you're going to get the return. So. Thank you very much for joining us here today, Steve, uh, and enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, really appreciate it. We're having a great time. Thank okay. you. Thank you.